Good morning, Kiddo Kids, and welcome to your Friday, February 3rd. And, well, let's just talk a little about that weather out there, am I right? I mean, I am just burning up over here. It is extreme. I mean, I can't get out of the sun, just sweating up a storm. It is hot. Just can't seem to cool off. Pfft, psych! <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, you thought I was talking about how it was warm outside, but... <laughs> But it's actually really cold at home. <laughs> but seriously, it's it's really cold out there. So, uh, you know, we got to make sure we're dressing up nice and warm and, uh, you know, staying warm. So, that being said, let's find the flag in the room and... Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation... Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, you crazy candlehoods. Let's talk a little about the food for the day. We have a ham sandwich. That's ham solo right there, by the way. Uh, garlic pizza, baby carrots with dressing, apple, and milk. What's going on with that weather outside? We talked about it before. It's cold out there. We've got a uh, temperature right now about 6, 7 degrees with wind chill pushing it considerably lower. Uh, and look at that, guys. The high is now. The high is right now uh, until later this evening where it kind of kicks back at around 6 degrees later in the afternoon about the time we're uh, heading out from school. Uh, it's going to drop down to about 4 degrees through the middle of the day where the high should be. And then it's going to get even lower tonight. It doesn't really come back and swing back the other way until uh, tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock. And then it really warms up into next week back into the uh, lower and then even the mid and upper 40s. So this is going to be a really, really weird weather change. But for the moment, for today, the extreme cold is here. So just be careful out there. If you are heading outside for any length of time, make sure you've got covering on uh, uh, because at the temperatures it's going to be, you can actually potentially get a little bit of that frostbite. So, you know, be extra, extra careful. Okay, guys? So, let's finish out our announcements with that Kendall mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and to compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, I do want to leave you with something special. Uh, the BOCES program has made a really awesome video highlighting Miss Semke and the contributions she has made with the theme of Undercover Boss. And so I'm hoping you guys can just uh, check out that video and learn a little more about what she does. So have a great weekend, everybody. I would like to introduce to you Paulette Semke. Paulette is a special education teacher in the Department for Exceptional Children. She teaches in a BOCES 1212 classroom in Kendall and supervises four student behavioral assistants. In her classroom, you'll find her leading a diverse group of third through sixth grade boys in academics, behaviors, and social emotional functioning. Paulette is a strong believer that relationships mean everything in education. She is the full package teacher. When you think about somebody who you want to teach a third through a sixth grade classroom, that's Paulette. She is that calming force in that classroom that keeps everybody together, keeps everybody moving forward in a positive way. She's an advocate for special education. We've had the same group of kids for the last few years, so we really get to know them on a personal level, and Paulette does an amazing job connecting with their families, keeping the kids engaged. We have a lot of different skill levels in our classroom, so there's a lot that has to be differentiated. And she does it sometimes three, sometimes four different ways so that the kids have the best shot at learning the material. Coworkers say she has created a wonderful classroom environment and staff love working with her. Paulette is kind and patient, and all the students in her room know she would do anything to help them. She works very hard to build strong connections with all stakeholders. She's very humble in what she does as well. If you give her a compliment, she'll talk about what her staff does or talk about how great the kids are. You know, she does a very nice job orchestrating everything in her classroom. Um, and she does that because she's confident enough in her skills so she's able to delegate things and, and collaborate with people. The growth in the kids that I've seen, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. 
their writing, their reading, even through COVID, this all just has blossomed. And that's a real testimony to Paulette and how much she cares about the kids and what they learn. And, and not just about school, but about every facet of their lives. It's, it's important to her that our kids are okay. Away from school, she loves spending time with her family, including her two high school children. She likes to be active gardening and getting out to see live music all summer long. Paulette, thank you for all that you do.